everyone welcome back to another wonderful tutorial if this is your very first time thank you so much for joining in and if you've been here before welcome back and thank you for being a loyal subscriber without any further ado let's get into today's tutorial Welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to do something a little bit different. Like we normally do, we show you how to draft basic patterns or different patterns. But today we are going to show you how to sew these drafted patterns. This is a requested video from one of our loyal subscribers. Um, we are going to show you how to sew the neck dart. But if you've not drafted the neck dart before and you want to learn how to draft one, make sure you click on the link on the video and that will take you straight to our tutorial on how to draft a neck dot and if you've drafted the neck dot before or you've seen our previous video on how we did that you can go ahead to watch the rest of the video now we are going to go ahead to flip our front bodies to the wrong side which is the inner part of the front bodies as you can see we've added our seam allowance and there is a line indicating where we are going to sew through so once you've drawn in your lines on your pattern indicating where you need to sew through, you need to get your sewing pins and this will help us secure our dot and also this helps as a guide to identify where we need to sew through. So now we are going to manually close our dart using our hands but before we use our sewing pins to secure our dart we need to make sure we fold along the seam allowance making sure we have everything in place and once we are sure of that we need to use our sewing pins to secure our darts. And like we have previously done on the first dot, we are going to repeat that same step on the second dot. Now that we've secured the neck dot using our pins, what we need to do next is to sew up this dot with our sewing machine. So now that we have our sewing machine ready, what we need to do is to make sure you take off the pins and you are going to sew along the indicated lines. You have to follow the lines that you've indicated previously and make sure all your pins are removed so you don't damage your um, sewing machine. So to begin sewing, you are going to start off by using your back stitch on your sewing machine to secure your stitch line and make sure to repeat that step at the end of your dart. This is to secure the edges of your dart line. So like we've previously done on our first dart, we are going to repeat that same step on our second dart. So once we've closed our dart using our sewing machine, 
what we need to do next is to go to our ironing board to press open our darts. So now we are going to use our pressing iron to press open our darts. At this point, you don't want to rush your way through this process. In order for you to avoid any crease on your dart, you're going to use your finger as a guide as you press along your dart. Once you're done pressing the right side of the bodies, you're going to flip the bodies over to the wrong side and again using your pressing iron, you're going to press along the dart lines. So now we are done sewing our neck dot and this is how it should look. So thank you so much for watching and I hope this video helped. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. And until next time, bye for now.